Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create bottom navigation bar in our own Android application. Now, many applications use this bottom navigation bar in order to give user a convenient way to switch between different tabs from a single screen. And it looks pretty much nice, which increases user experience. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn exactly this thing, how we can implement in our own Android application. So let's jump into Android Studio and see. So here I am in my Android Studio and let us first see what we are going to build. If you are seeing this uh, emulator, then you can see uh, three types are present here in our bottom navigation bar. One is a home, another one is a favorites and third one is the settings. And we have created a respective fragments for that. So when we click on this uh, Diff, uh, this respective tab, this, the respective fragment is get loaded on the screen. So uh, I just click on favorites and the favorites fragment is loaded and I just clicked on settings. Settings fragment has been opened and we can switch any number of times and in any order without any issues. If we click on back, it will just directly exit. So now let's uh, implement how, let us see how to implement that in our Android application. So let me close this, uh, minimize this simulator for now. and. Uh, this project is currently fully empty. This is the main activity. There is no extra code here and in activity main also nothing is there. So let me first add a bottom navigation bar here. So I'll just go to design. Let me fit it to the scale. Yes. And now in the containers here, we are able to see bottom navigation view. Let me just drag and drop it here and it has fitted to our screen. Now we just uh, have to align it. Uh, I'll keep the width as a match parent and height as a wrap content. We don't need the X and Y. Instead, we'll just use the constraints. So I'll constraint this bottom to bottom of a parent. And that's it. It will be shown here. Let me change this. Yeah. So it will be shown at the bottom of our screen. Now, it re as it is a bottom navigation bar, it requires a some type of menu so that user can click on that. So we need to create a menu for this. So here in the race, uh, you will not get the menu folder automatically. We need to create it. Just right click on the race, new Android resource directory. And here, let us select menu and just click on OK. So menu folder will be created here. And again, right click on this menu folder new you will get an option menu resource file here so just click on this and uh, type a name as a you can type any name let us give as a bottom nav bar and i will just click on ok and this separate uh, menu file will be created now whatever the items we need to uh, put in our bottom bar we need to declare them all in this menu file so we can declare this like this item. Let me close this and add attribute one by one. So I'll first assign an ID. So we'll be have, going to have three types. First one is a home. Let me give a title. Title as a home. And yeah. So just like this, I'll create two more tabs, two more menu items here. Second one is a favorite. We'll give it a name also as a favorite. Let's open as favorites. And here, let's say settings. Now, we also have the ability to show the custom icons for this each item. So, for the icons, I have already included these three icons here favorite icon, home icon, and settings icon here. So, you can just uh, create a new vector asset here from here and you can add the uh, respective icons here so i'll add the attribute as an icon android icon here i'll write home icon home underscore icon so as soon as i add it here we uh, we, uh, we can see it here now here i'll add icon as a favorite icon and here icon as a uh, settings icon yes now we are able to see all of the three icons here so that is that's it for this bottom navigation file let me just close this and now in in this file 
we can just define this uh, menu item so we can just write menu app colon menu and we get already getting a session <coughs> bottom nearby so i'll just click it as soon as i click on this one you will be able to see the all three icons are visible here so this is exactly how they will differ if you add fourth item here the fourth, fourth item will be added here so now we need to create one frame layout which will host the respective fragment once we click on this home so for this frame layout we will create a frame layout here uh, i'll set width as a match parent and height as a zero dp to match it to the respective constants and i'll now add a constant here constant top to top of a parent and constant bottom uh, for before that let me give id to this bottom nearby id bottom nav bar now i can assign constants constant bottom to top of bottom nav bar so it so that it will fill hold the width of this it will match the constants and let me give id to this frame layout as well frame underscore layout yeah that's it now our layout is ready now we need to create three different fragments in order to uh, uh, handle user clicks <clears throat> let's say we have three types here home favorites and settings if user clicks on respective item then user should be navigated to the respective screen and in this and uh, uh, what i mean by screen is a respective fragment so i have already created these three fragments here home fragment uh, favorites fragment and settings fragment here so if i uh, click on this any of this one i have just removed the redundant code and nothing i have added here it is just a, a pre uh, it is just a uh, predefined code here and in the layout file i have just changed i have just added this text view and added a, a name of the respective fragment home fragment for here favorite fragment for this favorite fragment and settings fragment for this so you don't need to do anything uh, besides of this i have just created this too so that we will be we should be able to differentiate between fragments so for adding a fragment you don't need to do anything uh, for just right click on this layout click new and you can just click on fragment uh, instead of clicking on this layout we can just click here and uh, new fragment here and from the fragment you can just select the fragment blank so blank fragment will be added here and uh, you can uh, change the name of the fragment so the fragment will be added so that's how the things are built now i have closed all the things now our task is only to uh, do some things in the main activity so handle the on click events of the bottom neighbor for that we need to first get reference to this bottom navigation bar this is bottom navigation view so it is a bottom navigation view and let me refer this to the r dot id dot bottom nav bar dot and we'll add uh, an attribute here like set on item selected listener so when user clicks on this respective item will come in this and we'll get an item here that uh, if we hover on this item we can see that this is a menu item item colon menu item this of type menu item and we need to return some boolean value in this so we can just return true so that's it the error has been gone and inside this we need to handle on click events so before uh, handling this as soon as we launch our application now nothing will be loaded because we have not loaded anything in our frame layout so first we need to load one at least one fragment by default in the frame layout that we are going to load that is a home fragment so as soon as we launch our application home fragment is by default selected and it is by default uh, loaded in the fragment layout sorry frame layout so for that we need a few lines of uh, just a two to three lines of code we'll use val fragment manager or let me create a separate method for that because we will be also using the same code we will be replacing the fragments once we click 
once the user clicks on the respective tab so let me create a one function private one replace fragment and it will accept a uh, one parameter as a fragment and whatever the fragment we receive here will replace that fragment uh, in our frame layout so we'll write the code val fragment transition equal to support fragment manager this is the fragment manager we get which is associated with this activity we get this uh, by default dot begin transition and here now we are we can uh, use this fragment transition to carry for the task fragment transition dot replace and now this replace accepts two parameter first one is a container view id in which container we need to show the respective fragment so in this case it is our frame layout so r dot id dot frame underscore layout and the second one is the respective fragment which we need to load in that frame layout so we'll be going to load this fragment which we receive as a parameter fragment and we need to call one function on this transaction that is a commit so that this change is permanent so this is the method we'll be calling at every case and at the very first time in the onclet itself to load the fragment at the very first time we launch the application so in this we will be passing home fragment we just need to call a constructor uh, and pass this home fragment here and uh, it will do the work now in coming again inside this set on item selected listener we'll be we are getting this item that is a menu item so we can just assign a when case when item dot item id if the item id is r dot id dot whatever the id we have defined in our menu file so let's open our menu file bottom new bar and see home so we'll just click on r dot id dot home if it is the case then what we what we want to do we want to load the home fragment so we'll just call again this function replace fragment and we'll pass a home fragment so our home fragment will be loaded as soon as user clicks on uh, this uh, tab home tab and in the bottom nearby second case let me just copy this second case is r dot id dot what does name of second favorites and i'll put it favorites and here will pass a favorites fragment the same applies for the third settings fragment as well this is a settings and we are just calling a settings passing a settings fragment here yes that's it that's will do our work this simple thing will do our work. Now let's launch our application and see how it is working. And here our application has been launched and by default home fragment is loaded because of this code. We have already, uh, we are already launching the home fragment, uh, adding the home fragment in the frame layout. So by default home fragment has been selected, uh, has been uh, loaded into this frame layout and this home tab is selected. If I click on favorites, favorites fragment is getting displayed and if i click on settings settings fragment is getting loaded in the respective frame layout and we can uh, switch between any of these in a very convenient manner so this is how we can add bottom navigation bar in our own android application with such a minimal efforts so that's it for this tutorial if you have some doubts you can put your doubts in the comment section below i will try my best to answer those if you like this video then please click on the like share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any new upcoming amazing video we'll meet in the next tutorial with some another interesting topic till then goodbye have a good day